We're first going to look at the Altair 8800, the computer that started Microsoft in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the United States Southwest. It was a kit computer. Paul Allen, Bill Gates developed a basic operating system, went to Albuquerque for three years. Once this company was no longer in business, then they went back to Seattle, Washington in the northwestern United States and started their new company called Microsoft. In Albuquerque, it was just two words, micro and soft. Altair was named after a planet in a movie called Forbidden Planet. And they went and needed a name for the computer, so the owner of the company, Mr. Ed Roberts, took the name from the movie and called it the Altair. Another kit computer of the same era. Two friends named Wozniak and Jobs decided that they would put together a kit computer. This is Steve Wozniak's own personal Apple I computer built from a kit. When they first sold these kits in 1975, they sold so many of the kits that Steve Jobs realized they had a company and began to form that company and build their very first computer called the Apple II. In many ways, the Apple II computer designed by Steve Wozniak was the first successful desktop computer manufactured by what eventually became a major builder of computers. The Apple II came in many, many forms. And from this, an entire industry involved of desktop personal computers. The first IBM desktop personal computer, very first, had one floppy drive and then they went to two floppy drives. Technically, there were no real advances here, but because it had IBM on the front, companies would buy it when they wouldn't buy it from a company like Apple because they were too small. Commodores, Commodore 64, very famous computer bought by many, many hobbyists, 1982. A Commodore PET was even earlier. An early Apple notebook came after the Commodore PET. This was one of the most reliable laptops ever built. Rugged, very useful.